cat was sitting by me and it was full of fluff. <laughs> Can you, can you tell me, uh, you come along here often, tell me you see this I art? I come here every single night. This is our walk. I have a very old dog and this is our end of day walk and we walk down here. I love to see. I was disappointed to see the fence come up, but then when the art came up, it made it pleasant. It made it wonderful to be able to be here and enjoy the scenery of the beach and get to see the art. First time you've met the artist, so it's nice to have that, uh, nice oh, to offer. Oh, that's why I was so happy that she was here because I know what you can't say thank you for everything that you're doing. It's hard to say thank you when you don't know who's doing it. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is the with the tie to the house coat. <laughs> oh geez, I'm gonna be close again. Gotta bring it up. Bring it up. He'll be here tomorrow. What's that? He'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> We just haven't got it up and running yet. And uh, but what you're doing is amazing. And I don't think we're going to pursue it because you're doing such a great job. But this is fantastic. Well, I saw what was happening around the, the White House in the states, and yeah. a lot of stuff that ends up going on a fence is very defensive negative. and yeah. negative. And I thought I could lift. Uh, some of the anxiety for kids when they come down and it's turned out it's lifting the air. Adam, can you tell me what do you think of what Jenny's doing? I think she, what she's doing is amazing. I know we had to close the beach and that was the right thing to do for safety of everybody. But what she's doing is beautifying what is something that's terrible. And I think it's amazing with all of her artwork. She did uh, the heart, the unicorn, Canada Day, and now she's doing for something for all the ones that are fallen. And through COVID and every other disease. And I think it's amazing what she's doing. Have people been talking about Adam, you with the store downtown and as a counselor? Uh, what this is doing, a lot of the arts and culture scene has been kind of null and void over this COVID. And what she's doing is bringing that back to life. And to me, that's such a positive and such a positive for our community because art is inspirational to everyone. And what she's, Jenny's doing is fantastic. Nice. 
nice. Yeah. But I, I think I'll stop by for a cup of tea at the end. Okay, this next installation that I did, I call it the Rest in Peace Memorial. And the idea behind it is I've created a square peace sign which is a little different than what we normally are used to but in these rigid times I figure that we've all had to make a different kind of uh, peace for ourselves it's not um, we have a lot of rules to stay within and uh, finding peace can be difficult sometimes in particularly when somebody passes it could be a COVID past or it could be uh, a person who, who pass away within your family and under the new rules we've had a difficult time of gathering for funerals or celebrations of life. So what I've created here is a memorial piece. It's a piece where people can come and they can put a feather on the um, art installation with the idea of um, memorializing somebody. It could be a celebration of their life, uh, leaving a little memory, or just wishing someone some happiness in their afterlife. How long did it take you to do it? Tell me what the different levels represent. Okay, so uh, the purple, uh, I figured would just be a cheerful color. It's also used in within uh, um, um, celebrations of life and and there is a connection of uh, uh, death ceremonies with purple and so um, that's used as the the outline and the inside I wanted to show the the cool waters of Lake Ontario with the beautiful rainbow sky in the background mm -hmm. how long did it take it took about uh, I'd say about five hours I got caught in the rain several times and it was still good because it was nice and warm and the breezes were blowing down here so it was still a very pleasant experience for me.